here is Lesson 9 Homework for Module 2. Today we talked about liters turning into 100 milliliters, then taking 100 milliliters and turning them into 10 milliliters, and taking 10 milliliters and turning it into 1 milliliter. So the first thing you need to do tonight for number 1 is find containers at home that have a capacity of about 1 liter. Then you're going to use the labels on those containers to help you identify them. So like we talked about in class today, on those um, containers, you can look at the bottom of the container where it has a measurement, and it will tell you if it's close to 1 liter, which is 1,000 milliliters. Once you find those containers, you're going to write them down in the boxes below. So like an example is a carton of orange juice. Try to find four containers at your house that are about one liter. After you do that, sketch or draw the containers, and you're going to write about how their sizes and shapes compare. So the differences in their sizes and shapes and how they all show about one liter. Number two. The doctor prescribes Mrs. Larson five milliliters of medicine each day for three days. How many milliliters of medicine will she take all together? I'm going to highlight some clue words. We have the word all together. We also have some numbers. Five milliliters for three days. She's taking those five milliliters each day. Each is another one of my clue words. So when I see the words each and all together, I know I have to create a multiplication problem to figure out how many milliliters she will take all together over that three day period. So, I'm going to start by creating a tape diagram. Within that tape diagram, I'm going to make my three days. So, I have one day, two days. And again, I'm going to extend these lines so I can see my three equal groups. In each day, She's going to have five milliliters of medicine. I don't know what my total is. <laughs> sort of fun using the computer, right? So I'm going to create a multiplication sentence. I have three days or three equal groups times five milliliters equals, I can count by fives, five, ten, fifteen. That gives me fifteen milliliters over a three day period. So writing this as a sentence. Mrs. Larson will take 15 milliliters of medicine all together. Notice when I wrote milliliters, I wrote a lowercase m and a capital L. We use that capital L when we're talking about liters. Because if we use a lowercase l, it looks like a 1, and it can confuse our addition or subtraction or any other type of problem. This comes to an end of the first side of Lesson 9 homework.